Let's try and use some of the components from this Ionic here that we can just import and use. So it actually again saves us from using time on creating all the CSS around a specific button and so on. So let's scroll down to something we want. I want the icon buttons. This is, there we go. This one, I just want part of this. So let's see, I want this one with the contacts. So where the ion buttons have the first part of their HTML and when it ends. So this would contain one button here. I am just gonna click save. And again, this was for components and then buttons here. Back to my HTML, .h, home, .html, and this is my column, and I'm just going to put it in this, this one. Yeah, I was just putting in the last one. So in the three of threes. Um, I'm just pasting this in. Again, remember, between these two, this is the column, so to make sure that it are in here. So just paste it in, so it says iron button start, and blah, 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 click save. And let's go check our browser, it reloaded. I'm just gonna make it smaller, like this. And now we have a button here. Um, not only is it already being created for us, let's try adding some text, see what happens, text. Not only is it being created for us, they styled everything, so this icon is in the center and everything. I just removed this text, this looks stupid. Um, and there's also a effect, so you can see if you click it, there's like, pew. Uh, I don't know what to call that. Uh, pew, pew, pew. They already added that transitions and, and animation effect to it, so it looks a little bit cool and so on. Kind of what you used to from phones. Um, still works on the on web. But we can also change these icons. So I can just steal one and actually go find some uh, even more different icons. So if we use our browser, do Ionic uh, icons list. You spell it correctly. It's called Ioncons, Ioncons. And there's all these here. So you already know these. These are just called Font Awesome, Font Awesome. And you've been using them previously, and I made you do a lot of work to import these, but right now Ionic is already doing it. So we're just going to go, hmm, I want this weird, I want the Harry Potter here. Yeah, Flash. So I'm just gonna use the Flash. It actually says down here, icon name, flash. So let's go to my web store and my ion icon name is contact right now. That's this little dude up here. Let's change this to flash, save. Up here is now flash. So either he runs fast or he's a Harry Potter, Potter lightning in the forehead or something like this. But as you can see, we can use all these weird and beautiful things from Ionic here, just find what you want, find the correct place, and import and use them in our uh, code here without us having to write a lot of extra code for this. So we just imported and created this where we probably usually, I would do this in several videos, I just did this in a few minutes. <clears throat> so that's how easy it is to collect everything. We, this is called, uh, what do we call it, modularization. So we're just putting in the things we need to where we need them basically. <clears throat> they are already pre-created. So that's just an example how we can use both components uh, and icons that are not there as a start to change all the fields and flows of the page that we want.